Hey everyone, Johnny Man here, and welcome back to my Call of Duty City FIFA 18 career mode. Of course, we're in the third season now, and this is going to be the second episode of the season. So there's been two games since the last episode you joined us, which was that uh, emphatic 2-2 draw against Middlesbrough, and then we played Chesterfield, beat them 1-0 pretty comfortably, and then we beat Hull City 2-0. So we're in pretty good form right now. One draw, two wins from the opening start of the season. Uh, we played Luton Town, by the way, in the next round of the League Cup. It's a very readable game. But today's episode... Uh, uh, we take on um, Bolton Wanderers and the Trotters. So, uh, going into today's game, um, let's talk about the squad real quick, shall we? Let's go over the team for today's uh, lineup. Well, lineup, I should say. Uh, so, Masono's going to start in goal. Obviously, Haynes at left back, Grimm at right back, McDonald Mullis for the middle. Diata's going to start off on the left. He's been doing really well on the left hand side of midfield, and he normally comes in, and uh, Frank Nubly gets a little bit tired. So, that kind of works out. Omega's been absolutely immense in midfield with Stevenson. Uh, Jody Jones on the right's been doing well. Reese Brown behind, of course, Frank Nubley, who's on it. He's done okay so far uh, since adapting uh, to the uh, championship football, but he's yet to really um, make any kind of an impact. I expect it, to be honest, but he's not really good enough to play in the championship, but he's going to have to do for now because I haven't got much money. Look, I'm basically broke. I've only got £1.27 million pounds to find a striker, and that's not really not enough money, to be honest with you. All right, so um, with that being said, let's get into today's games. Uh, again, first, playing Bolton at home. This should be tough. This should be very, very difficult. I keep forgetting to change uh, the game settings, so we'll set to Legendary there again, yeah, because we have moved up a difficulty level, and so far, I'm adjusting okay. It's not too much difference between World Class and Legendary. Um, what do you guys think? Put in the comments below. What do you, what do you, what do you guys play on? I play on... Normally, play on World Class. I'll do Legendary, just because I want to make the series a little bit more interesting, a little bit more challenging. But let me know in the comments below what uh, what difficulty do you play in. So, anyway, uh, yep, this team we're going to line with. Let's hope uh, we get a win today. All right, so here are the Rico Arena up against Bolton Wanderers. Obviously, uh, two teams that used to be play used to be in the Premier League quite a few years ago now. Um, shame, really. I used to love getting trips to uh, Bolton. It's always a, a fun away away trip for us. Good football here from Bolton. Here's Taylor, closed down by Jack Grimmer. See if we can get anywhere close to him. Nope, he's turned Grimmer. Make him look a bit of a fool. Uh, here's Avila. Turns. Oh, he's gone past two men. Too far too easy. Back post. It's a free header, and that's a good save from Masson Neal. Um, that defendant, I would give it. Uh, I give it a solid two out of ten. All right, it's a corner. Ball's whipped in near post. It's a good flick on, and it's cleared off the line. There's a chance uh, from the edge of the area. I don't know who that was. Put it straight into Masonio's hands. There's a chance now. Here's Reese Brown. He's got by his man. Puts the edge of the area. Stevenson can't get there. And the ball's hoisted clear. Uh, so the chance not over yet, though. Here's Stevenson. He's found Jody Jones. Stevenson does well to win the ball back again. Here's uh, Reese Brown on the edge of the area. Finds Diata cutting off the uh, to his right foot. Oh, shit. The keeper. Decent effort there from Diata. This pace has been proven a uh, difficulty for the opposition defence to handle. Let's see if we can do something from this corner, though. Jody Jones whips it in. Haynes is there. Can't get a uh, clean header, as well as. Jones puts it back in. Oh, and that's a great header from Diata. Get in there, my son. Fantastic finish from Diata. That's his uh, third goal of the season now. He got a, a, a double against Hull last time out. I keep forgetting he prefers the name Crepin. Yeah, that's the name on the back of his shirt. So we'll we'll do our best to remember to call him Crepin from now on. But regardless, that's a fantastic finish uh, from uh, just inside the box. Take a little look. First time cross from Jody Jones. And that's a beautiful header past the goalkeeper. And uh, it's 1-0 to the mighty Sky Blue Army. Brilliant one-touch football. Here's Reese Brown now. Here's a chance to make it 2-0. Reese Brown! And he's found the top corner of the net. Reese Brown makes it 2 Nil, beautiful, beautiful one-touch football there from the uh, from the boys. Fantastic precision stuff. Carving open the Bolton defence. Good fall there from uh, Nobly as well. And that's a fantastic finish on his left foot from Reese Brown. And uh, it's two nil. All right, this is a uh, chance for Bolton now from a dangerous set piece. Omio whips it in. The balls bounce on the box, but Mega's there to make the uh, calm clearance. And unfortunately, uh, Stevens has gone down with a knock now. That's not a good sign. Ben Stevens has had his injury problems over the last couple of seasons, and I uh, hope that's not a serious one again. He's probably going to have to come off, and he is. All right, so coming onto the field, uh, it's going to be John Cannon, the American. Uh, young potential. 
He's going to have to step up today. And uh, winning 2-0 though, so pressure's kind of off him. Oh, he's crapping now. He gets past the right back. He's going to drive into the box here. He's got Newby there, but he's finds Brown instead. Brown to make it 3-0. And there it is. Reese Brown gets a second goal of the game. Great assist there from Kreppin, using his pace to get away from the right back. Just uh, very calm, just walks into the box, lays it off to Reese Brown, and Reese Brown fires it past the goalkeeper. 3 0 to the mighty Sky Blue Army. Here's Medine at the edge of the area. Oh, he goes past the defender, and he smashes it against the, uh, the crossbar there. And that was a glorious opportunity for Bolton to get back in the game. Um, however, it is halftime. It is 3 0. We are controlling the game right now. It's a couple of chances for Bolton. Um, as long as we can keep restricting them like we are, we should be fine to see out this game pretty comfortably. We just got to hope that uh, Ben Stevenson injury isn't as bad as I fear. Um, let's make some changes, however, though. Uh, Diata is actually struggling, or Kreppins is struggling. Uh, bring on Tom Kraus to play left wing. Obviously, in the last episode, he scored an absolute screamer. So, another one today would go down quite nice. There's Noob looking for Tom Kraus, and he found him. Kraus in cut onto his favorite right foot, shoots at the near post, but it goes behind. For a uh, goal kick there. Good chance there for Tom Kraus, got in the box. Good ball of from Noobly. He's actually done a really good job linking up the play today. Impressive stuff from the uh, experienced target man. Here's Megan now through on goal. Oh, just over the bar there from the midfielder. Good opportunity. 71 minutes on the clock. It looking looking it looks more. It looks increasingly likely that we are going to end up with a good win here against Bolton. Just to hold out a little bit longer. In fact, here's Frank Newbly. Maybe we can make it four. He's got the one of Reese Brown. We can spot him. He's on a hat trick. There's Newbly. Gets the ball back. Oh, and he puts a shot. Horribly wide. Obviously, Nubli is struggling a little bit now. He's starting to get a little bit more tired up top. So what I might do is actually make a quick change. Uh, let's bring Nubli off and replace him with uh, Ponticelli. And uh, let's also bring on... Actually, can we do it? No, we can't. Never mind. We've already made three subs. Never mind. I was going to bring on the Brazilian um, Alvadino, but unfortunately ran out of subs. So, um, yeah, there goes Nubli. is off the field now and a place of Ponticelli. I'm looking to see a bit more from this season. It's definitely my young striker project. He's got the pace, uh, and he's got the scoring ability too. Every time he seems to play for me, he seems to find the back of the net. Um, he just hasn't done it really on a consistent basis. Hasn't looked like he's going to improve, uh, but hopefully it'll change. As Ponce saying, now he does have the legs. He's got Reese Brown. If we can pull it back. Oh, and it's an own goal. It's a horrendous own goal from the uh, Bolton defender. Ponce was looking to square it to uh, Brown for his chance for his hat trick, but uh, the Bolton guy said, nah, I'm just going to put it in myself. Take another look at this. Uh... Jesus, I mean, that's a great finish, and uh, the keeper actually reacted surprisingly well. He almost got a strong hand to it, but uh, two, uh, so 4 0. All right, so the, uh, that's the full-time whistle, and it is a 4-0 win at home against Bolton. A fantastic, emphatic result. Uh, we got lucky early on here. Medin probably should have made it 1-0, but that was a great save for Masonial. And then uh, after that, it was pretty much all us for the majority of the game. They had a chance, however, uh, a couple of chances themselves, but uh, Masonial did well to keep him out. Um, good display all around. I think we Brown's probably going to get the uh, Man of the Match award, I would imagine. Uh, nope, actually, Crapping got Man of the Match. Uh, surprisingly, he got himself a goal, of course, and one assist. Um, assist today, too, from uh, Jody Jones. Uh, just a good performance all around. Very, very happy about the display. All right, so here is the injury news on Ben Stevenson. Unfortunately, it isn't good news at all. He actually broke his ankle. He's going to be out for three months. That is a huge blow uh, to our campaign. He's a very important player for the team. And now it leaves us, again, a little bit short in the middle of midfield. Uh, the natural placement for him, of course, is going to be uh, Cannon. Um, but after that, then we really are limited to who can play centre midfield. Um, it's pretty much Alvadano, the only player that left now. So I'm going to have to be in the market now to try and find another midfielder. All right, so we've got an intriguing offer here now for Frank Nubli for £1 million for Millwall. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting offer. It's a, towards the top end of his market value. Um, I could, I mean, Frank Nubli, okay, so he's got a lot of goals from me last season, very important in our promotion push. However, we all know his limitations, and he's not particularly that uh, that beloved by my Sky Blue fans here on the commentary uh, section. So what I might do is I'm going to accept the offer. 
a uh, million pounds could come, could come very helpful to us especially going into the uh, transfer window the transfer deadline and obviously with that being said we do need to bring in perhaps another uh, midfielder now another center midfielder because we're going to be about Ben Stevenson for three months and uh, that puts us really really in a very tough spot now so uh, yeah I think I'm going to accept that offer and um, hopefully uh, Crapping can step up to the plate. Tom Krause can move to left midfield. We have options for when uh, FF Newbie does leave anyway, so I'm not too not too worried about it. Um, all right, so let's get into today's game up against Ipswich Town. Let's take a look at the league table, though, before we start. Obviously, we are third place in the table, so a great start to the campaign. Eight goals, only two conceded. I um, expect to concede a lot more goals than that. We've done very well defensively, surprisingly. And we'll go up at Ipswich today, who have uh, one win, one draw, and one defeat. They've only actually scored one goal, but at the same time, they've only conceded one goal. So it's going to be a very tight affair, I would imagine. All right, so with that injury in mind, uh, Cannon comes straight into the team, and we keep the same team apart from the Ben Stevenson injury. Oh, yes, I keep forgetting I have to do this. I've got to go and change it at some point. All right, so, yep, legendary five minutes. Everything looks good. All right, let's get this game going. All right, here we are, Portman Road up against uh, the mighty Ips Switch Town. All right, so let's uh, try and get another win under our belts and keep our uh, good solid start to the season going. My goal this season was to finish uh, mid-table because I knew the jump in difficulty and the jump in quality might be a little bit much for us to handle. Um, I'm just hoping that we can be, uh, that we can keep up on a decent start to the season. And if we do that, we should be able to meet those goals. All right, here's an early chance at Ipswich, though. We've got to try and defend this. McDonald should be able to get this ball clear. Let's gallop forward. He's got a bit of pace about him when he gets going. Um, I kind of wish we would make a run there. And that's new. He's way offside. He's about 90 yards offside there. All right, so that was the first chance wasted. All right, here's Cannon now getting forward from midfield. First opportunity to see what he can do. Stretch his legs. Finds Jody Jones on the overlap. He's going to cross the ball and looking for Newbley. Can't quite get there. Poor crossing in there from Jody Jones on his weaker foot. Chance now for Ipswich working the ball around on the edge of the area, but Cannon does really well to intercept that and maybe set up a counter attack. Now here's Jody Jones. He's got a respawn looking for the through ball. You can find him. He does beautifully. Respawn looking to turn the defender, but uh, defender does really well with the uh, saving slide challenge. McDonald reads that well and sets up uh, maybe another attack. Here's Jones cutting in on his left foot. Finds Mega. There's Nubly at the edge of the area. Nubly's in the box. Oh, well blocked there. And it falls out to Crepin. Crepin has options there, but I think he was in an offside position when the shot was taken. And it, uh, unfortunately, the uh, decision goes against us. Uh, so 20 minutes in, doing pretty well so far. Let's try and keep this going. Here's Jody Jones looking for the through ball of Brown. He's found him. Brown has a chance to get away now. He can try and shoot across the keeper. Straight at him. And a good solid save there from Barkowski in goal. Uh, former Southampton goalkeeper. Um, yeah, just a good solid save there from the keep. Respawn perhaps should have done a bit better. Put it across. See if we can make something from this corner kick. Ball's whipped in. There's Nubli at the near post and it's cleared off the line. I think Barkowski had it covered. But uh, it was a good clearance from the defender. There's Krep in there to the area. Oh, that shot was going horribly wide. All right, so that should be the end of this opportunity, unless we can steal the ball now, uh, which we cannot. Oh, that is a crunching challenge there from the Ipswich defender. And he could be in trouble here. That's got to be a yellow card for Smith. And it is, yeah, that was an absolutely brutal challenge on Reese Brown there. And uh, Frank Newby takes offense to that. And honestly, I don't blame him. Um, all right, let's see if we can get something from this free kick. Mega's going to try and whip this ball in. Oh, that's a fantastic effort there, I think, from, uh, who was that, Crepin? Um, but unfortunately, he goes uh, narrowly wide. But an uh, awesome acrobatic effort from the, uh, the young striker. Fantastic one-touch football. Here's Frank Newbley. Has he got the pace to get away? He doesn't, but he cuts inside onto his left foot. And it flicks off and suddenly goes behind from a corner kick. Well worked again. We're getting these little half chances. We just have to convert one of them. Uh, let's see if we can get something from this corner. Jones can whip this in near post. Looking for Newbley. Can't find him. The ball is easily clear to touch. As Jody Jones finds Newbley at the edge of the area. Newbley shoots from distance. Oh, good one-handed save from Barkowski. Straight at the goalkeeper, but I uh, think he did put the uh, put save up, put that save out for the uh, the camera. Uh, yeah, that was a comfortable save. Probably could have caught the ball, be honest with you. But uh, never mind, it went behind for a corner for us. Here's Jody Jones again. Let's see if we can make something from this one. Grimman gets skull side of his uh, defender, but it's well punched clear. There's Cannon from the edge of the area. Cannon looking for Newbly. Newbly's found a little bit of space. Flicks off the defender and goes behind for a corner. So some late lost... Uh, some late pressure here at the end of the first half. Let's see if we can make the most of it. 
Jones whips this ball in. Nobody can't get there. And it falls straight into the hands of uh, Barkowski. Oh, there's a late chance for Ipswich now, and that's a goal. Terrible defending, terrible concentration at the end of the first half. Eric and Jack Grimmer gave the ball away and he won it back in the box. And uh, I'm not sure what Ryan Haynes was doing there. He had opportunity to clear the ball, but let the uh, attacker in behind him and uh, snuck it into the far post. Yeah, Grimmer did terrible there. Ball was played across. Haynes should have been a lot better as well. And it's 1-0 uh, to Ipswich just before the halftime whistle goes. All right, so... All right, that's halftime. There it is. And uh, unfortunately, we're losing 1 0. We don't deserve to be, honestly. It's been most of us. So it's been mostly us the uh, first half. Um, but we are getting some tired legs up there, unfortunately. Uh, we can, can make a couple changes, though, try and freshen some things up. Um, I'm going to put Crepin up top instead of Noobly. Um, actually, I lied. Noobly was pretty good the first half. Let's give him another chance in the second half. Uh, I've always got on my mind the fact that we're selling him, so I need to start thinking about playing Crepin up top uh, a bit more centrally. Because obviously that's the plan. If we do sell Nubly, then Crepin will definitely go up top and then Krabs will come in there. So I'm trying to kind of preemptively make that change in my mind. But while we have Nubly, we should probably use him. All right, here's Jones. Finds Brown at the edge of the area. Looking for pocket space. And he's fouled at the edge of the area. That sets up a decent opportunity for Jody Jones. Let's see if he can make the most of it. Jody Jones shoots in. Oh, good save there from uh, Bayakowski. If it was on target, which is usually better than what I can do from a, a free kick situation in FIFA. So I consider that a decent effort. Here's Ryan Haynes striding forward from left back. He's got the beating of the defender here. He's got Nubli in the box so he can find him. It's a great cross and Nubli gets there, but he puts it wide. Force opportunity there from Frank Nubli. Actually, it goes behind for a corner. Must have flicked off a defender's head. All right, so let's see what Jody Jones can make the most from this corner. We're going to go back post this time. Went front post near. And nobody made the run. Fantastic. All right, 63 minutes in. I uh, haven't really created too many opportunities in the second half, so I'm going to have to make some changes. Let's bring off Jody Jones, bring on Tom Krause on the, the right. Let's also put... Uh, Diata struggling too. Let's bring off Diata then for Conte. And let's also bring on Ponticelli to play up top instead of Frank Nubly. All right, so make a hat full of changes. Uh, we're going to try and push forward now. We're going to try and go attacking mentality and see if we can uh, maybe get a point from this game. Be disappointed to drop our first game of the season here at Ipswich, considering how much of the first half we had. Here's Jody Jones running at the uh, left back, but he's easy to dispossess. Yeah, his legs are gone. He hasn't got the pace to get by anyone anymore. So the sooner we get him off, the better. All right, so we made those changes. They've got a uh, free kick in a dangerous area here. Ball's being whipped in. Ponticelli heads the ball clear, but only as far as Rodriguez near to the area. Oh, that's a terrible tackle. That's a foul. Won't be surprised if uh, uh, he won in the book there, but he didn't. Uh, here's a chance now from a free kick. Let's see what they're going to do. A little step over. Ball shot. Oh, good effort there. Good saving there from Masonio. Here's Reese Brown there looking for Conte. He's just come on the field now. Conte, let's see if he can make an instant impact. Here's a chance. Oh, and he blasted over the bar. That was a chance and a half for Conte. Oh, he really should have scored there. He really should have equalized. But a tail will finish from the young Italian winger. For a goal now, and that should be 2-0, and it's not. That was a glorious opportunity. He wouldn't have counted anyway. It was offside. Uh, so we have five minutes in left to go in this game to try and rescue a point if we can. That's a bit looking for a ball to Ponticelli, but he's offside again. All right, so... All right, so this is when you build something from the back. Maybe one last chance in this game. Ball's hit long to Reese Brown, but he can't get the ball under control. And it is finished 1-0 to Ipswich Town, disappointingly. Uh, for the majority of the game, we had the better chances, but a poor piece of defending at the end of the first half, unfortunately, cost us the game today. Uh, man of the match for us goes to Jody Jones, apparently, with a 7.3. Uh, Nobly did well today in the first half, two of a 7.0 rating. All right, and that's going to include today's episode. Obviously, disappointing way to end it there for 1-0 defeat at Ipswich. Uh, but upcoming in the next episode, uh, let me see. So basically, we have Luton Town, and then we play Reading on the deadline day transfer, deadline day of the transfer window. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the Luton game in the League Cup. That should be a pretty comfortable win for us. I'm going to try and rotate the squad as much as possible because we are 
short on in numbers and stamina will start to play an effect on us. Um, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Reading game in the next episode. Obviously, it will be a transfer window special as well. Hopefully, bring in some talent just to help us out for the season because right now, numbers are very short and the injury to Ben Stevenson definitely uh, made a lot diff more, more difficult for us. Um, so after that, uh, we'll talk about what's going to happen, what's going to come up next. Hello, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like on it. If you want to see more videos by me in the future, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.